Hi folks, there seems to be as many security holes in classic species as there are holes in a Swiss cheese. What about Raspberry Pi? Today we're gonna talk about computer safety. First, we're gonna analyze most recent threats for classic PCs and see whether these threats could also affect Raspberry Pis and if Raspberry Pis are actually safer than classic PCs. And then uh, we're gonna analyze Raspberry Pi safety in general. Computer viruses have long been a great threat to computer users and Raspberry Pi 5 has developed into a great a desktop computer. It is not very fast, but it's very useful. So it's only a matter of time when a Raspberry Pi 5 or its successor might become uh, susceptible to viruses or when viruses will become a threat to it. Recent developments with classic species have shown that their EEPROMs may be infected with malicious code. Even if you replace entire contents of your hard drives, SSDs and all other data drives, it wouldn't help because it's above any operating system, about any data that is stored on your system drive. This kind of software started development about 10 years ago when there were companies that prized themselves with programs that may track your stolen laptop or other computer without the one that has stolen it, the thief knowing it. So you can find your stolen computer anywhere in the internet. This was the first attempt to embed any kind of coding into your UEFI BIOS. But afterwards, hackers got hands on this technology. Today, we are faced with numerous malicious hacks that may render your classic PC unusable. You might even have to replace entire motherboard to get your computer running as desired. And this is because EEPROM in your computer has protected and unprotected areas. Unprotected areas are meant for contents that were thought not to be vulnerable, like logo on your boot screen. But it turned out that the logo software for the image is vulnerable. So if you inbuilt some kind of code into the image, it might get infected. Actually, a hacker might gain control over all of your EEPROM chip and replace the code in it. And this is very dangerous because it might not be possible to replace the entire contents of your EEPROM with the original manufacturer's code without having a special hardware tool. And this is also hard to come by and it's very expensive. Usually in this case, it is more convenient and cheaper to replace your motherboard. But if you are using an old PC or a mini PC, the only option would probably be either not to connect this computer to the internet ever again or buy a new computer. How about Raspberry Pi 5 and Raspberry Pi 4? They both have their primary bootloaders stored in EEPROMs. However, the procedure to replace them is well known and documented on the raspberrypi.com website. You can either use Raspberry Pi imagers from Raspberry Pi OS to flash a new copy of primary bootloader or you can instead copy the needed files to an SD card and a new bootloader is flashed when you start your Raspberry Pi 5 or Raspberry Pi 4 from an SD card. This means that you can always recover your Raspberry Pi 4 or Raspberry Pi 5, no matter what kind of malicious code they would have been infected with. However, in this case, you would have lost all your data and all the applications that you have installed on your Raspberry Pi. There is also not much interest uh, among hackers to write viruses for Raspberry Pi 5. The other factor is that actually Raspberry Pi 5 has open source core operating system and it's much harder to inbuild any kind of mechanism that would allow a virus or other malicious software to embed to the operating system at the level that it can be embedded into a classic PC. But of course, there are programs with which you can update firmware on Raspberry Pi 5. And if these programs were plagued with malicious code, then uh, it would of course be possible to infect Raspberry Pi 5. Though it is good to know that your Raspberry Pis are reasonably safe even without any kind of 
antivirus soft. But it is a good thing to make your regular backup copies of your data to external drives just to make sure to be able to restore them to your Raspberry Pi if something weird happens. Thank you for watching. Press like and subscribe buttons if you've liked the video. The next video is coming soon. Bye.